as you can see, these are beans, mm -hmm. of course, beans, beans. Mm -hmm. always, yeah, you farm also maize, maize there's yeah. bananas, bananas, onions, onions <laughs> oh, yes, as well, as well. Yeah. Yeah. And the problem with that elephant almost eat everything. 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 <laughs> How quickly will an elephant consume the whole crop? Uh, Take a couple of days? No, just a single night. Just a single a night. night yeah. just... And you know, elephants usually work in groups. Oh, of course. So in the family, about six to ten elephants, mm. when they enter to farm like this one, mm -hmm. after six hours, the whole farm is wiped oh, off. Yeah. Human elephant conflict arises when elephant light uh, crops. Mm. Uh, when elephant light crops, in most of the cases, people try to defend their crops. In defending process, some of the people are injured, sometimes may even die. Elephant may kill them. Uh, for example, in this area, for this year, three people have died. Three people already. And the three people uh, have been injured by elephants. W, of course, WSPA believe that there are solutions mm -hmm. which can be applied, which are beneficial both to animals and uh, people. But in most of the cases, the affected community tend to retaliate to conflict by injuring animals. Mm -hmm. Most of the methods they use just use spears, arrows, setting uh, nails along the path, which cause uh, injuries to animals and sometimes may even cause long-standing uh, wounds. The WSPA initiative through community have tried to come up with uh, local methods, trying to use traditional method, improve them, use locally available material so that it can be used to deter elephant from uh, riding the crops. Okay. One of the methods we are using is chili fence. Chili fence? Chili fence. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Chili fence is a very simple method. Most of the material are available locally. Locally, the chili is grown locally. Yeah, okay. chili can be grown here. Mm -hmm. We have sisal oh, lobs, which is available from plantation oh. of sisal. Okay. And we have got a used engine oil, which otherwise is a reject. Okay. <laughs> can you show us possibly the process yeah. of how uh, they make these? Okay. What they are doing is that they take a chili, they grind it, yep. then they mix with used oil. Just one chili? Yeah, yeah one no, chili? no, at least it, uh, it depends on the size of the farm. Okay. Yeah. If they have got, let's say, one acre, they are going to have about two kilograms of chili. Two kilograms of chili, chili to and about, one acre. Uh, and about uh, 10 liters of used engine oil. Okay. Then they mix together, mm -hmm. they stir it well, then they soak the uh, size rope. Okay. After, after soaking the size rope, they just uh, phase around the farm. Okay. Uh, this one is another, of course, is this uh, is another uh, technique. Another technique. Uh, another technique. Almost, it uses also chili. Yep. They, are they are making uh, uh, chili bricks. Chili bricks? Bricks, yeah. Ah. Yeah, these chili bricks, of course, mixed with the uh, engineer oil, mixed yeah. with chili, and they mixed with elephant dungs. Elephant dung? Uh, exactly. <laughs> so That's a great deterrent, yeah. isn't it? Their own dung. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, during the evening, of yeah. course, most of the riding uh, take place during the night. Yeah. So during the evening, they dry the uh, chili bricks. Dry the chili yeah, bricks. they just set fire to the dried uh, chili. They set fire it's, to it. Yes, exactly. Oh. To the corner. So when this one uh, smokes, elephants always tend to repel their way to before they it. approach to the farm. So essentially, there are other uh, barrier methods like. Uh, Electing electric fence, mm. but for community like uh, this one, it's very difficult for them to afford to erect electric fence around their farms. Okay, and when they grow the chilies, are they able to also sell those? Can e they sell e them on? Exactly. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Now, even the demand for chili, for example, for fencing is very mm. big now. Mm -hmm. Also, chili can be used even for marketing, for people, Market, for industry, yeah. people they use chili for food or yeah. whatever, even can be exported overseas. How long have they been using this chili fence method for? In fact, this one we introduced last year. Last year, yeah, so it's very recent. Yeah, very recent. Very but recent. But obviously very effective because... Yeah. We the trained crops. the group and the group now extending this um, technique mm -hmm. to communities. And is this technique only used in this uh, Savo area or is it spreading to other countries as well? Yeah, even other countries. Other countries. Other countries. Okay. If you have a fence, mm. you are sure that the uh, elephant will not come again. They won't come back anytime yeah. soon. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a very effective method. Yeah. I think. There's lots of benefits to it you've got. Exactly, yeah. yeah.